Bonjour les amis et bienvenue dans cette nouvelle vidéo en direct de Thaïlande à Bangkok. Et alors aujourd'hui je vais vous présenter les bons cafés de Thaïlande avec le Thailand Coffee Fest. Nous avons interviewé de nombreuses personnes et elles vous partagent leur passion et pourquoi le café de Thaïlande est de bonne qualité. Vous êtes prêts Alors c'est parti I'm quite wonder uh, the quality of coffee for the farmer is better, better and better. Yes, it's amazing. Judge, honored to be uh, the head judge for this event. We have gone through the process of evaluating each coffee one by one. Each coffee was assigned a code. We've had eight calibrated cuppers. Cuppers are people that professionally taste coffee for a living. Uh, myself as head judge and seven national cuppers. We um, dissected each each coffee cup um, by body, flavor, acidity, sweet, clean, finish, and overall capacity. We scored the coffees on an international level uh, with the using the protocol um, that sets all standards for uh, coffee competitions and evaluations. We ended up with the top 10. Those coffees today are being served right now to audience members anticipating the award announcement. So we will, uh, there'll be a professional MC who announces the top farms that win. Immediately following the announcements of the top 10 farms, they will be auctioned off. Our, our purpose here is to identify the best coffees that Thailand has to offer and to help um, promote them internal market consumption, helping everyone that lives here enjoy these wonderful coffees and also to expand the market for Thai coffees because I believe they can compete on an international level. Thank you so much. Uh, this year, first time we collect the sample for the farmer, 105 kilograms, because of we need the same uh, lot and uh, the sample in the same uh, coffee for the auction. Every person will amazing about the quality of Thai coffee. Some of them, uh, 90 score, we will know in this afternoon. My leg, bad, bad, jet bad, the cup jack, no one coffee cup. Why coffee in Asia uh, has got potential? Because first, it's the, the people here are getting more and more educated in terms of the coffee, uh, in terms of the good grade coffee, as compared to instant coffee previously, maybe 20, 30 years ago. And the next thing, the, the, the most amazing thing is also the, the, the volume, the sure numbers and the population in Asia itself, that the Asia's growth is potentially going to be the, next, the highest in the next five years. It will be the dominating continent in terms of coffee, um, particularly China as well. And based on this, the number of micro roasteries or even roasteries in Asia itself, not just in Thailand, but across Southeast Asia is coming up, including China, which is predominantly a tea drinking country with the culture. So yeah, this is my take on uh, why uh, the, the coffee industry in Asia will be a big boom. Thailand and I'm the CEO of the company 
company. Uh, this, this company has been 18 years already, so I just joined the company last year, but I've been in touch with them and we have worked closely together in the Specialty Coffee Association of Thailand for five, six years already. So I know a lot about Thai industry as a whole and I see the opportunity and also the challenges. Uh, we are the specialty coffee company in Thailand, integrated supply chain from the farming, but we don't do like the farming ourselves, so we have the contract with the and membership with the farmers, the 560 household, and we own the wet mill, doing the processing ourselves, and, we, and also the dry mill, roasting facility, and also retailing. And here is also the coffee shop. So what we do is like the whole chain, the whole supply chain. a year so by that uh, by this trend is by year by year right now considering about at least 20% in the whole coffee consumption in Thailand are specialty it was tiring <laughs> but it's good tiring because it's very super busy I can tell that it's got a very successful event um, not just for me, not just for Blue Cop, not just for the particular company, but for industry as a whole. Because I, as the, I can see that Jordan will also present to you how we organize the award, the Specialty Coffee Award, which uh, that is aimed. That is actually the original reason for us to have that coffee festival is for that award. Uh, the main objective is to enhance the farmer encourage them to have more passion and to be recognized in the specialty coffee and uh, so far I can see this is the third year of the event of the coffee festival and I can see trend and the market change it might be not good for some people who are in the mass production or in the industrial wise but it's very good for people who focus in the specialty coffee. Ethiopian coffee, and we have a product like a uh, Tobu to represent you. Okay, and uh, I want people to know more about the Old Boy Coffee. You know, they they are the place that uh, we uh, support the farmer there. We have uh, many projects there about the uh, education to the farmer. Yeah. And uh, we have so many ways to improve our coffee by the new variety. Uh, people learn a lot about the uh, to do uh, school process. We also have a lot of coffee farm that have a tree, a lot of tree like a little forest, and make taste different. Yeah. So we want European people to, to try the Thai coffee, the green bean and rose, and uh, they be good enough to be like a single origin. The forest is uh, very important because uh, without the forest, it's not only the coffee cannot cannot uh, do the very good taste. 
but for the food and for the environment about the people there because we have a huge tribe who live there they need the forest they need to plant something else to eat something like that without the forest it's like a, the nutrition in the, in the soil and the, the weather and everything cannot be easy to live yeah so if you support the type of feed that uh, plant in the forest that is mean you support the local people to live there also. So, i believe that uh, you have a good uh, Good environment about the uh, forest that can make the coffee taste good also. Yeah, this is what I love. Kibari is 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 the everything about coffee. Our slogan is a select to our specialty. That means that we try to seek the best thing for the customer. We have our own uh, retail or co coffee roaster called Pakamara Coffee Roaster, uh, and we have like uh, about 15 branches around uh, Thailand. Yeah, and also we have uh, a meal in in north of Chiang Rai, uh, a coffee meal, and we do uh, some um, testing about the process. We support the grower in Thailand. Yeah, this is what we do, and we have like a one seat to until to the customer. Yeah. So hi, I'm Freddie. Uh, I'm representing uh, Coffee Enterprise Trading Company. We are green coffee uh, importer. There's base in Thailand. What we do is we support. Uh, the micro roasters, the medium sized roasters with a lot of the variety of coffee from around the world. Uh, the reason why we are in this market is because uh, we saw the exponential rise of, of, of uh, coffee, uh, coffee consumption uh, in the last five years. Uh, there are a lot more micro roasters in every part of Thailand, not just only in Bangkok and Chiang Mai. Uh, in Ayutthaya, in, in uh, Rayong, in Chomburi even. So, uh, the demand has always been there and of course uh, green coffee is a derived demand uh, commodity so if coffee consumption increase the derived demand for green coffee will increase as well so that's why I'm here trying to make a living <laughs> yeah. uh, it has changed uh, last year and this year is completely different last year was a lot more I wouldn't say it was just the feeling is now it's much more international. A lot more people are coming in from around the world uh, because they know, they understand that driver growth in the world right now is in Asia. And it would be foolish not to come to Asia actually. tobacco but yeah let's see is that we can taste tobacco or not and also have some good clean 
good body for our uh, wash coffee and honey process more lingering at the finish and and the second section we will love to share to Thai people for the Ethiopia coffee as well today, yeah, for today. we would love to share our passionate and our unique story and, and, and food and, and flavor like of course we would love to share Les cafés de Thaïlande. Alors nous avons la chance d'avoir comment vous appelez Audrey. Audrey qui va nous lire un petit peu son ressenti sur ce café. Attention. Ah, attention. <rire> pas mal du tout. Pas mal du tout. Franchement, il est, il est pas très fort. Non, effectivement. Il est très doux. Mmh. On voit qu'il est quand même. Euh... Un goût très particulier quand même. Hein. Mmh, mmh. Mais pas. Euh... Pas, pas dégueulasse, hein, mais, mais il est très bon. Est très en fait, chaque, chaque origine, chaque café va avoir vraiment quelque chose à, à dire unique. C'est-à-dire qu'ils sont différents. Il n'y a pas forcément de café qui vont être mieux, moins bien, on a chacun des goûts différents. Et effectivement, euh, le café de Thaïlande est unique. Comme un café d'Ethiopie va être unique. Ouais. This is the idea. We, this is the, the coffee journey, coffee day. Uh, yesterday and today, the coffee day. And, uh, We would like to share about uh, the coffees and uh, good quality coffee and the project that we are doing uh, ah ben in the farms. Good. Yeah. Okay, monsieur. Good journée. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Good journée également. Ouais. Merci. On vient de la région parisienne en fait, euh, et euh, je trouve que ca... on est fan de café, donc on est à 6 7 cafés par jour au moins. <rire> et euh, donc là, le café, je le trouve très bon parce qu'il n'y a pas d'amertume. Donc euh, il n'agresse pas et euh, je l'ai pris sans sucre alors que j'adore le sucre dans le café et là je trouve que ça passe très très bien. Donc, voilà. En deux mots c'est très, très bon. C'est bon. ouais, très 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 bon. d'ateliers de dégustation, euh, bah, le café de spécialité, la façon dont on peut le préparer à la maison. Euh, et ça a été une véritable révélation, parce qu'avant je n'aimais pas du tout le café. Quand on le prend en restaurant, il y a un côté très amer. Et le café de spécialité, c'est tout l'inverse. C'est découvrir toutes les saveurs et euh, les arômes euh, du véritable café. Et euh, c'est pour ça que maintenant je m'intéresse de plus en plus à ce monde-là. Et j'essaye de participer euh, à tout, euh, tous les éléments qu'il peut avoir sur, le, sur ce café. Donc je m'appelle Arthur, euh, j'ai fondé l'alchimiste il y a 4 ans et demi. Euh, donc on est une tour d'affaction de café fin, café de terroir. Notre, euh, notre métier c'est euh, de sélectionner des cafés euh, selon un certain nombre de critères, de les, euh, de les torréfier, puis ensuite de les vendre à des clients particuliers ou professionnels. Euh, on, a, 
on a un atelier de torréfaction qui est sur la rive droite de Bordeaux, qui est vraiment notre lieu de production. Et euh, ici, on est dans notre boutique qu'on a ouvert il y a un an et demi. Là, on est sur la rive gauche de Bordeaux. On est dans le centre, dans le centre de Bordeaux. Et cette boutique, euh, en fait, euh, est notre point de distribution de café pour les particuliers et également un point de dégustation, puisqu'on peut venir ici euh, déguster. Euh, nos cafés. Alors souvent les dégustations qu'on fait ici, c'est des, des dégustations de café qu'on a torréfiées. Euh, là aujourd'hui c'est intéressant, c'est des cafés qu'on ne connaissait pas du tout, euh, d'une origine qu'on connaît mal euh, qui est la Thaïlande. Euh, je pense même que c'était la première fois que je dégustais euh, des cafés thaïlandais. Euh, on propose, on a, on a un café asiatique quand même, on a un café qui vient d'Indonésie euh, qu'on propose en ce moment. Mais la Thaïlande c'est la première fois que je goûtais et euh, J'avoue que je partais avec un petit a priori quand même et, euh, et j'ai été plutôt agréablement étonné. Euh, sur les 5-6 cafés qu'on a goûté, euh, il y en a deux qui ont quand même bien retenu mon attention. Euh, j'ai trouvé que c'était euh, des cafés qui assez clean alors que je m'attendais à des cafés euh, un peu brouillons, un peu euh, terreux avec des défauts, euh, avec parfois des notes euh, assez puissantes de cigare qu'on peut retrouver sur, sur le café euh, asiatique. Et là, ce n'était pas le cas, j'ai trouvé que c'était des cafés qui étaient clean, euh, qui avaient une belle acidité. Et, euh, et ouais, comme je te dis, il y en a un ou deux que j'ai trouvé, trouvé vraiment intéressant. Donc je pense que c'est euh, ben, une bonne opportunité de pouvoir goûter ces cafés et que c'est un marché à suivre, à regarder, à regarder ce qui se passe, euh, ce qui s'y fait. Parce que je pense que vu ce qu'on goûte là, certainement il y a des gens euh, en goût de, enfin, au début de la, de la chaîne qui doivent travailler euh, correctement et qui testent des choses, des nouveaux process. Donc c'est intéressant.